We all know that surviving giving up on Huck is a real epidemic right now, but I believe I have the solution. Well, kind of. You see, when a survivor gives up, they have a few options. Option 1, they give up and hide in a locker or go AFK. This is a reportable offence This is handled already by the game. If you see someone do this, please report them. Option 2, they quit the game. This is what they should be doing. At least that gives the remaining survivors a bot and they eat a DC penalty. What they really should be doing is growing the f*** up and either riding the match out or to stop playing the game entirely. Hell, even uninstall if this is something that happens to you on a regular basis. Clearly Dead by Daylight is too hot to handle for you. Or option 3. They start to try and hug themselves on the hook, which accelerates them onto stage 2 and then they miss all their skill checks in stage 2 until they're sacrificed. This is a problem area because as far as I know, there is no feasible way to report this as it's an in-game mechanic to try and hook yourself. Missing the skill checks on purpose is a little harder to defend in that regard, but it's still not really provable. My fix for this? Remove the chance to unhook yourself without perks or the anti-camp. Whoa, hold on there. I know this is rather extreme, and yes I hear you, there are times when this can turn a game around for the survivors. But let's be real here, the 4% chance to unhook yourself is being used for far more maliciously than it is for its intended purpose. I might get hate for this, but let's take it this way. Camping is a gameplay mechanic, and it got a fix. Why? Because it quote, ruins the game for survivors. Is accelerating a sacrifice because you're a big baby also not doing the same thing? It ruins the game for everyone else playing and seems to be unpunishable. It's not serving its purpose. As for it can turn the game around, yes it can, but in my 8 years of playing, I think I have seen a self unhook when all survivors are dead to rights turn the game around once. Just one time. Every other time it has happened, it just makes the game longer. It does not result in the match changing. But let's pull it back a little bit. Maybe we can consider some other ways to change the self unhook mechanic in the game without it being malicious. We could change the base chance to unhook yourself to a single time, without it actually accelerating your sacrifice. That way if a survivor wants to GG go next, they still have to sit through the whole thing, get rescued, then either quit or go AFK, which are both handled via the game itself, either by a bot or reporting that survivor and they get banned, whatever. Still sucks when a survivor just goes AFK, but at least it's reportable. Could also keep it as it is, but only allow a self unhook if there are no standing survivors. That way, that way it keeps the integrity of possibly turning the game around, but it can't be used maliciously. While we're at it, let a survivor who has never been hooked a chance to unhook themselves, if they're the last alive. This used to be a thing, and with base kit borrowing time, it's actually viable you could escape from this situation now, assuming the hatch isn't closed. Could also just make the act of giving up reportable, but I have no idea how you realistically prove this outside of them clearly missing skill checks on the second hook. The survivor perk, Slippery Meat, increases the chance by another 4%, so the game even has perks that make survivors want to do this, which makes it so difficult to prove. Speaking of that perk, if we remove the unhook chance, Slippery Meat would have to change as a perk as well. Either just give in the 3 chances without it doing anything to the sacrifice bar, or rework it entirely. Quick example off the top of my head, make it so you get haste after you get unhooked for X amount of time. We have plenty of survivor perks that do this, but they're all tied to the person unhooking you. Just a thought. That's all I got for this rant though. Let me know in the comments how wrong I am. I'd love to hear it. No seriously, I do enjoy hearing your comments. Until next time, take care of each other out there. Bye for now. Or, the final solution. All survivors could stop acting like entitled little children and just play the video game that they want to play. Like, if you're constantly playing this video game but all you ever do is give up, why are you playing it? Really, why?